Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'd like to show you how to make some delicious Gaps Legal cupcakes. If you look around online, there can be some misinformation about what recipes are okay on Gaps as far as baked goods. So this is one that is approved by what Dr. Natasha currently recommends. It does not contain commercial coconut flour, which is a big no-no. It's way too full of fiber and not recommended on Gaps. Instead, it uses coconut butter, which is a lot silkier and nicer on a healing gut. These are great for when you want to have a healthier option for like a birthday treat, either to send with your kids to a birthday party or if you're hosting a birthday party yourself. So let's get started and jump right into the recipe. This recipe is adapted from this cupcake recipe in the Heal Your Gut cookbook. This is a great cookbook for getting lots of Gaps recipes. I make just a couple changes to make it more the way I like it. I'm just gonna do this while I'm waiting for my coconut butter to melt. So the first thing that you have to do for this recipe is to melt the coconut butter, or it's also called coconut manna until it's nice and soft. I did this by putting the jar into a pan of water on the stove and it takes about 20 minutes. I stirred it part way through to make sure it was evenly melted through. And then I'm just going to add that to my blender. Also, once it's time to start mixing everything up, I preheated my oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I'm just going to put these in here. I'm using larger measurements because I'm doubling the recipe. But I'll say the measurements for a single recipe and then you can choose to double it or not as you like. So this is two cups is what the recipe calls for. Two cups of coconut butter or coconut manna. So that's a 16 ounce jar, so that works. Next, to sweeten these cupcakes, I'm going to be using some dates that have been soaking in water to kind of rehydrate them. Dates are the perfect thing to use for a sweetener in baking because you don't really want to heat raw honey because that destroys the enzymes, but dried fruit like dates are a great way to sweeten Gap's baked goods. So I'm just going to add these. The, this recipe calls for four large dates. And then I'm going to blend the coconut manna or coconut butter and dates together until they're nice and smooth. That looks pretty good. You can also use a food processor for that same step. Next, I'm just gonna add the remaining ingredients to the blender and mix them in. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of my favorite mineral salt, Baja Gold. And then I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. And two teaspoons of vanilla extract. This original recipe also calls for two teaspoons of cinnamon, but I leave that out. Next, I'm just gonna blend everything together. Next, I'm just going to dip out the batter into the muffin or cupcake liners. I'm using these natural ones. So they're, you know, cut down on toxins in any way that we can. You can fill them about three quarters of the way full. Then I'm gonna go take these and bake them in my 300 degree Fahrenheit oven for 30 minutes. After they're baked and cooled, I'm gonna show you how to make a really delicious frosting to go with them. Okay, now that these cupcakes are out of the oven and cool, 
it's time to make some frosting for them. I'm going to start with one cup of butter that's been softened at room temperature. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla, the juice of one lemon, honey to taste. Now, it depends who you're making this for. It's for your, if it's for your family and you're used to more, you know, less sweet stuff, probably one, maybe two tablespoons is good. If you're making it for people who are not as used to the GAPS diet and things like that, you might want to add more like three, maybe even four tablespoons. But you can kind of just add it, you know, depending on your audience. My daughter is going to be taking some of these to school for a treat, and so I'm going to probably go a little more heavy on the honey than if I was making it just for us. And then, to color this, I want to make a pink frosting, so I made a raspberry puree. I just heated these raspberries with some water. You can either do it on the stovetop or I did it in the toaster oven since I was doing lots of other stuff at the same time. Just kind of to make a raspberry puree. And then, oops, we've got some seeds down there. And then I'm just putting it through the strainer to try and remove the seeds. And then I'm just going to add enough to get a nice pink color to the frosting. I'll do just a little bit more. I want it to be you know, a pretty bright pink if I can. Next, I'm going to whip this all together with my hand mixer. Then I'm just gonna stop partway through and scrape down the sides to make sure that everything gets well incorporated. Once it's nice and fluffy, then you can either use like a knife or something to just spread it on the top, or if you have a piping bag, you can use that to pipe some frosting onto the cupcakes. I'm not an expert icing decorator, so I always just do something like that. And they're always a hit around here. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe showing how to make delicious and GAPS legal cupcakes. Hope that you give it a try. Check out that description box for links to ingredients, sources for those where I like to get ingredients from. Also check out that description box for links to free eBooks and other goodies. I have a GAPS diet getting started guide as well as some other things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody else who you think might need some GAPS cupcakes in their life. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye.